Hey y'all, it's um, Monday mid-morning and um, I just got home from having my MRI on my foot and well, I have some news to share. But first, I got some things to show you, so let's go see. Y'all, we have had the wackiest weather. Yesterday it was so windy, you'd think we were having like a tropical storm. Look, I'm just coming to get this branch here. It's blown down into my garden. Look how nicely everything is growing back. Including what I wanted to show you is my, um, toss that over there. Are my swamp milkweeds. They look so good. And I found two more swamp milkweed plants growing up over here. Look at this one. Look at how tall it's getting. I'm not sure if I want to leave that there or if I want to dig it up and move it over to my swamp milkweed garden. And look, you can see there's another one coming up right there. So exciting. And then this one's in my actual swamp milkweed garden. But that's not the only thing. Um, remember the milk jugs that I was trying to winter sow some swamp milkweed seedlings? Well, guess what? You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe what I found. I have one, one seedling popped up in one of the milk jugs. <laughs> let me go show you. It's so adorable. We're going to dig it out. We're going to put it in a special pot and let that baby grow. Okay, so here it is. All taped up inside, but let's peek down inside and you'll see. You see the little baby over in the corner? Is that not the most fabulous thing? All right, we're going to take this in the garden room and, and get it out. <laughs> my one little seedling. Well, while we're taking care of my little seedling, I've got a pot to put it in. Um, I'll talk to you about what's going on with my foot. So I did have my MRI. Man, that was an experience. I, I don't think I've uh, had an MRI before. At least, I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. But that it's noisy. Like, it's really noisy. Let me get some scissors. So anyway, I had it and it did come back that I do have a fracture. So I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to roll that away. There it is. Adorable. My first swamp milkweed sprouted from seed. <laughs> My one and only. <laughs> okay, let me get this baby out. Um, so what does that mean? You know, I don't know because now I'll have to be um, referred to like a orthopedic foot person, podiatrist -y person. I already have the walking boot because they did give me that when I went to urgent care. So let me tell you, it is hard to walk in a walking boot in the garden. Um, I'll explain a little more in a minute. Let me get this little sweet baby out. I think I'm going to use this tool right here and that should just scoop in. The soil in here is kind of really dry. And very gently. I'm going to lift it out. Look at that. Pure sweetness. <laughs> and then I'm just going to it right down in there and 
tuck it in. It's an awfully big pot, I know. But it's okay. It is what it is. I'm going to go get some more water in my pitcher and give it a better drink. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I'll probably put it inside in my, my grow room. I just gave it a good drink and I just set it right there. I'll get a little sun and a little grow light for the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and water this and just put it back out in the sun in case there's any other seeds in there that perchance might decide, hey, they want to grow too. Yay. Let's go. So, you know, as my, you know, as you know, my garden has a lot of uneven surfaces and the walking boot being that like it, it has a rocker roller it rocks and rolls on the bottom like sometimes it'll roll backwards and it makes my knee I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna break my my knee or damage my knee trying to heal my foot <laughs> I'm not gonna cry about this I have so many things I want to do I sit here and I have all these plans and we had disgusting no, we had the most miserable weather last weekend, so I couldn't do anything. Now, you know, <laughs> you can get away with stuff when you're not sure your foot is broken, but when you know your foot is broken, you kind of, like, you got to take care of it. So, I'm going to be good, but I really want to be bad. That being said, I have all these plans. And I'll be able to do a lot of it. It's just awkward and it takes a lot longer to maneuver around with this giant thing on my foot. Um, I, I'm hoping, you know, I've read that, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can just get away with wearing not the walking boot. So I'll have to wait to see what the orthopedic guy says. So enough of that. I moved to fence borders a little bit it made such a big difference in the look of one of my garden spaces i'm so excited about it i know exactly what i want to do there so let's go talk about that all right so over here in this corner where i have my wild lime and my balloon milkweed which there's some caterpillars on these we'll go look for them in a minute i have these two fence posts you can see right along here and where that piece of wood is and down is where the fence posts were and they kind of angled in well I just took them and angled them out literally just moved them out so now they come out but look more planting space I love it I love it I love it because my dogs are always just digging their holes here. Well, now the whole area will become a walkway. And when I angle those out, look at all the more planting space I get. And wait till I tell you what I want to do with this. I'm so excited. All right, so I do not need all those wild limes in pots because the wild limes do well with cuttings to take in to feed caterpillars. So I don't need to have big potted wild limes to move in and out. I also know that the wild limes hold up well in a freeze, so I don't need them in pots, so I can move them in to a safer space for a freeze. So I'm gonna put a lot of those in the ground back here in the corner where my other wild limes are, and it'll be like a little wild lime orchard, even though they're not really like citrus because they don't really produce limes um but it'd be like a little wild lime orchard and then this whole spot over here will be opened up and i'm gonna fill it with balloon milkweed can you imagine this little orchard area of wild limes and the tall balloon milkweeds all all there with their flowers on them and caterpillars crawling on them and i can walk in and amongst them i'm gonna plant some sort of neutral plant lower below them where the caterpillars will be able to go down and hide and molt and do their thing 
and I think it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be so incredible just to walk through there and just like tons of balloon milkweed, which is why I started a bunch of balloon milkweed inside and it's looking good. It is looking good. I'm so excited about that. So I have a lot of blue milkweed in pots here and I can go ahead and start putting it in the ground. Um, but I have this stupid boot thing. Ugh. We're just not gonna. Uh, 2023 is just so far. You know what, but I can't complain because I, let me tell you this, you know, as soon as I start thinking that I want to start feeling sorry for myself, um, when I went in for my MRI, like there was this whole checklist of things I had to say that I did not ever have. Like it was, um, no, 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 no. All the way down the list, but I was thinking, oh my gosh, the poor people that have all these things. I'm so grateful to be as healthy as I am. I've only ever had surgery once. That was my appendix last year. And that was February. And now this is February. February. I got that awful, awful Voldemort virus last week. I found out my foot's broken last February. February, we're done. You're supposed to be the month of love, Valentine's. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I got some other things to show you. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, and another thing I wanted to show you out here is my butterfly pea took a hit in the freeze. And um, butterfly pea is the host plant to the um, long tail skippers. I absolutely love them. I haven't seen one in my garden. I haven't seen much of anything in my garden. I'm telling you, this weird weather. It's, it's just, okay, we're staying positive. Positive, positive. Um, it's coming back. My butterfly pea, my butterfly pea is coming back. And it's so funny because I was going to trim it back. You know how it'll come up at the base. But it's grown back like right smack in the middle of the dead twiny sticks. Like right in the middle. I'm like, I'm just going to push out new growth here. Is the coolest thing it made me so happy to see that. So let's go see that and get a little bit of happiness going. So here you can see how dead and crunchy it is. But look, look right there. It's just growing like right in the middle of the crunchy stuff. It's all coming back. So I'm just going to leave it be and see what it does. And I'm just thrilled that it's growing back. And then here's my little garden here. And look what's all coming up. All of my little cosmos seeds, those little frilly leafed plants are all going to be little cosmos flowers. And I'm very, 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 very soon going to start scattering the zinnias. I'm so excited for that, too. And then here we are on one of my potted balloon milkweeds. Do you see who's right there? Look at that. Sweetness. How adorable. And there's more. I know there were some littler ones. Yep. Look. See, there's a sweet baby there. Look at that big kitty kitty boy. So, I'm going to go in and get off my foot for a little bit and, um, <laughs> how exciting this video is going to be. I am going to take you in and see the caterpillars. Um, some of them have pupated already and it's so exciting because there are no butterflies out here. This is the longest I've gone without butterflies in my garden like day after day of not not seeing them and it's not concerning but it's definitely different. Um, 
But I, I know a lot of it has to do with this, this weather, the up and down temperatures that we've been having. So I'm hoping maybe after a few hours today and um, the sun gets more up overhead and it warms up a little, maybe I'll come back out and maybe we'll find somebody. Okay, y'all, so I just cleaned out this enclosure, but you can see we got Jay hanging and chrysalides going on. in here okay. and then this little guy thought it'd be a good idea to jay hang and pupate from a giant milkweed leaf so i just have it hanging here suspended until a day or two after it for sure hardens and dries and then i'll move it to a more secure location and then i still have this guy who may be considering Jay hanging on the side of this container. And this guy thinks he still needs a little bit more to eat. I also have a few smaller caterpillars on this little cutting of balloon milkweed that I brought in when there were more eggs. Okay, y'all, so it's a few hours later. I'm sitting out here in the sun, and it feels so good, and I'm just hoping that maybe I'll see a butterfly. Maybe. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Do you see? Do you see? I was just sitting here zooming in on this little cosmos that I saw right here in front of me. And there it was, the monarch just flew through. I hope I caught it on camera. I hope my zipping my little camera around trying to catch it <laughs> didn't make y'all nauseous. All right, well. I guess that little monarch flyby was what we got. So I'm going to head in and I'm actually going to see if I can't get this video up tonight. Something else just flew by. Um, a Monday night video. Oh, could, could, could I be, could I be that successful? I don't know. You'll find out. You'll find out.